This is the Still Creek Savior Achievement for Case 0 of Dead Rising 2. First guy you're going to want to get is Dick. You do not have to actually save Dick, but you do have to bring him to his pawn shop. Basically, once you've killed all the zombies around his van, you uh, climb up, talk to him, then escort him back to uh, his pawn shop. You do need him in the pawn shop later, so you can buy an additional Zombrex. Then... Like immediately after you leave the shop, uh, Bob will be on top of one of the buildings across the street. Um, then you just go up and talk to him. He will tell you about any um, any other survivors he sees, so he's very important. Uh, I'll show you how to get up there, just like this. Once you're up there, you should talk to him, and right after talk to him, talking to him for the first time, he should tell you that there's a couple in the bar. Um, this is Gemini and Fosto. You can, the bar is right here. You go in, uh, first thing, before you go talk to them, you're going to want to open up the gun shop, so I'll show you how to do that if you don't know how. If you do, just uh, fast forward in the video. Because <laughs> uh, once you go in there, you'll be able to get swords, and um, swords are, you can give Fosto a sword, so then he can defend, defend himself while you're bringing him back to the safe house. Then once you're uh, in the bar, just talk to Gemini. She'll follow you right away. Uh, then you need to talk to Fosto, and you need to give him a couple of beers. Yeah, so right after talking to Gemini, she'll follow you. Then Fosto... He'll ask you to give him a... You have to give him two beers. Then <laughs> he'll throw up, and you can give him a sword. Uh, you can't give Gemini a weapon, but she'll use the briefcase she's holding as a weapon. Then just leave them out. Um, don't get too close to the gas station, because there's usually a large, uh, large horde of zombies there. Um... And Bob should also help you out a little bit. He'll just shoot the zombies around the building that he's standing on. You don't have to worry about defending them too much, because Fosso does have a sword. Then once you've gotten them back to the safe house, you have to leave the safe house and come back in. Then Gemini will be standing in the corner over here. You can talk to her, and she'll ask you to retrieve some gems for her from the quarantine area and she'll give you $15,000. Also, you get $15,000 for just saving them. This is good, because you're going to need to buy an additional Zombrex. Um, there's the gems right there, just directly in front of you, beside the yellow car. Once you get them, pick them up, bring them back to uh, Gemini. She'll give you $15,000. Now you're going to go need to buy another Zombrex, so you can give it to one of the other survivors later on. You also get some additional PP. Then the next survivors are um, Nikki and Tia in the bowling alley. You At about 1.30, you should go over to Bob. He'll tell you that he saw some girls go into the bowling alley. You go and talk to them. Once you've talked to them, they'll tell you that they won't leave unless you save their friend Sharon. And uh, Sharon's in the quarantine area. Uh, you can see right here in the tent. Then, before this, you're going to need to buy an additional Zombrex. Then, or after, I guess you can. Uh, give one to her, as long as you have one. Then, you can pick her up, because she will limp all the way and it'll be very hard. Before this, you're going to want to uh, actually kill <laughs> any of the zombies around. It'll make it a lot easier. Then you just carry her back to the bowling alley. Yeah, and before you pick her up, just kill any... There should be a big horde of zombies like right in the gate. If you just get an assault rifle or something from one of the, the guards in the area, then you should be able to just mow them all down. Then once you bring her to the bowling alley, uh, you can just put her down. Talk to the other girls, they'll agree to follow you. You have to talk to the, each of them in individually to get them to follow you. Um, then you can give them bowling balls as weapons, which is very helpful. 
then pick Sharon up again. If someone hits you while you're carrying, uh, or a zombie hits you while you're carrying Sharon, you will drop her. So, but you can kick also while you're carrying her. Then just make your way back to the safe house. Oh, make sure they're close to you when you go through the safe house door, because if they're too far away, they won't go through with you. Next is uh, Archie and Jason. They're behind the department store. Um, you can go and talk to Bob. It should You should be able to do this right after you save the girls from the, the bowling alley. I did it at about 3 o'clock. Uh, you have to go into the gun store and get a broadsword. Um, then you can trade Jason this broadsword for the handlebars he's using as a weapon. He won't follow you unless you do this. This is also the way you get the handlebars if you're working on building the bike. So you just walk over there, uh, talk to Jason. He'll, after you talk to him for a little bit, he'll trade you the handlebars for the sword. Then both of them will follow you back. You don't have to worry too much about um, helping them fight the zombies because they have a sword and a bat. Then just make your way back to the safe house. And after, between when you save these guys and then the next survivor, you're going to want to get some weapons so you can kill Jed at the end. And also you're going to need to ha buy another Zombrex if you haven't bought another one already. This is at Bob's daughter. She doesn't appear until 7 o'clock. So at 7, you should go talk to Bob. Or, yeah, at 7. Then uh, go into the gun shop, talk to her. She'll tell you to go, that she won't leave with you unless her dad's with you. So you got to go get her dad, go get Bob. Bob will follow you down to the gun store. Then once uh, Bob is in the gun store, you'll chat for a bit, and then you'll leave. And then, if you haven't beaten Jed yet, then you're going to need to have some weapons. You can get a shotgun from uh, the gun store. Also, there's an assault rifle leaning up against the wall if you haven't picked it up already. Then I don't think you can give um, Bob's daughter a weapon, but Bob will have an assault rifle with him. It's pretty helpful. Then you just make your way back to the safe house. And then once uh, you've gotten the, the uh, these last two survivors in, you'll get the achievement immediately. And there you go. Bill Creek Savior.